Good evening. Um, welcome to another Thursday of Wood Turning Life. Um, let's bring in the guys and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So looking after us tonight, we have the Wood Jedi himself, Mr. Wayne the Woodturner. Good evening. I bet, I bet that's a rum shug. <laughs> it is indeed. Yeah, see the pirate himself on his uh, rum, rum, Mr. Huey. <laughs> <laughs> and Dale at Deadbeat Daily. Can I, Sorry, can, I just, can I just say your intro music is, is Jamie's music's better than it. I just want to lay that oh. on. <laughs> Well, I have subscribed to Render Forest and I'm working on something. Get rid of that you, one. But, steady yeah. on, girl. <laughs> Forest. <laughs> Forest. Right. Forest, that sounds a bit shady. <laughs> oh, you know, so let's put them in the background. So, I loads of facebook groups would turn in stuff and there was a post uh it's about a month ago now from a guy called steve hooper i can't remember which one but he'd turned a duck and i thought that's quite a cool idea Quack. so we're gonna have a go bit of fun tonight a quirky little project turning a duck do you have a dale duck i do have a dale duck <laughs> 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 right so on the lathe i have a piece of cherry um which was smuggled back from scotland in my suitcase so uh, this last cherry week. again is to do with your render bush <laughs> <laughs> um so a piece of cherry as you can see nine and a quarter long three and a half wide um cost me a bargain price of eight pound sixty five if you're ever up in that Scotland, wasn't a bargain. yeah, I think. <laughs> if you're ever up in Scotland, go and see Charlie at Just Woods. Is it called Dale? Just Wood in here. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of nice places. Uh, bits of wood in there. So, right, I'm going to start getting this round, get this ready, and the boys can let us know who's in. That's what Wayne was turning the other day. Just wood in there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> AGK, out in the chat, we have an AGK Woodworks, we have a Barry Chetty, we have a Gerard, we have a Sugar Roti, we have a James Crawford, we have a Katie Shedd, we have a Malcolm Douglas, we have a Shane Hurst, we have a Joey, we have a Joey. Blue Lad Tumbler, we have a Tipsy Turner, we have a Wayne the Wood Turner, we have a Wyvy Woodshed, we have a Wyatt Wood Wizardry, a Wood Wizardry by Colin. And there's probably a few other folk that snuck in around there that I missed on if you have. I apologise profusely. So the question for tonight's show is how long before either me or Shug makes a wise crack about Scott popping his cherry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, I'm I'm steering well clear of this. I, I looked at that and I thought, duck that. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> you, must, you must be quackers if you think I'm ducking going there. <laughs> A duck sick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> How long we be live? You knew it. You knew it. <laughs> Yay. Jen's just coming. Come Good in evening, Jen. Oh yeah, Jen. Scott, Scott, your, your, tails, your, your, your rest moves, Scott. Yeah, I know, mate. I don't know what's going on with it. I'll just keep an eye on it. Better to keep your gouge on it. That's Duck you something. and everybody who ducks like you. <laughs> <laughs> this could go the way. Uh, Makers is coming up. Huh? Cause I know of uh, a lathe going at silly money at the moment. But... Oh yeah, it's an old lathe. Um, what? it's a jet. It's but a jet. It's... So we can just keep going from there, really, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. No, the question is how much. Uh, three hundred and fifty quid. Really? Yeah. What sort of jet? Uh, I'll I'll tell you later. It's a big one. Ooh. Her <laughs> Cast iron legs. I once dated a girl like that. 
Variable speed or Reeves drive? Reeves drive. Twin cam. <laughs> Turbo charge. Does it reach some, does it reach some airy speeds? That needs a wee texting. And Rob from Copper Owl has just come in. Hey, Rob. Oh, yeah, Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob. Every time I read Copper Owl we're turning, I think of Copperhead Road by Steve Earle. Yeah. And now I've said it, I'm going to have to listen to it again later on. <laughs> now you've said it, I'm uh, not going to sing it. <laughs> that'll be an Alexa moment later. <laughs> It'll be. Let's try this then. Alexa, play Copperhead Road. <laughs> I don't know that one. Alexa. Stop. <laughs> I've said it quietly. Hopefully nobody else has stopped. Alright. How we doing? Where I've got twenty six lovely, beautiful human beings and watching you in this fine Thursday evening, there are 17 thumbs ups. Folks, at the top of the chat, you'll find a link to Scott's Buy Me a Coffee, which in his case really is a coffee. It isn't a wine at all. He doesn't like wine, so it really will be a coffee. And that coffee will be used to keep him awake. So please, please consider buying a man a coffee to say thank you for the hard work, energy, and effort he puts into these shows, or just to make sure that he stays hydrated, as young yes. Jakey would say. Yes. <laughs> Stay hydrated. So we're going to pop a tenon on this end. You're going to what? You're going to pop your cherry? No, pop Wood, a tenon. Woodworm Second Paul's joined. Time. Evening, Paul. And, oh, yeah, Paul. Uh, and Tipsy Turner is saying, did I just hear Wayne as an earworm? How many times have I missed that? He did. Ooh. He did. Oh, well, I don't know. I it's really an order. You. you know, to be honest here, I mean, Tipsy, it's really an order. He comes in and hangs out with us earworms to just make sure we're doing it properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give you lessons and it keep you in order. Steady there, steady. Not too much stand by your beds as stand by your headsets. <laughs> you Jake, Jake just, just come in. Jake, hello, Jake. Then, my little brother. Yeah. Uh, let's get this in the chart. Hi there, Bobby. A nice bit not there. And Martin's in as well. Steve from SK Crafts. Has he been in from the oh, yeah, Steve. He's Martin, in Steve. He's quacking all the jokes Starbuck. today, then. <clears throat> oh, dear. Well, he must be quackers. You must be quackers off, if you he's... think I'm going <laughs> there. Yeah. He's in. Say duck, duck off to duck um, us. If you will. With the woodsheds <laughs> in. Yeah. If anyone didn't catch Brian's life from lunchtime, it's definitely worth Brian. going back and having a look. Oh, he did a, right. did a top hat for their Steve and um, Brian's top hat week. Mm. Yeah. Cool little Joe, project. Joey's saying hello to Martin. He said, what's up, mailman? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's in the chuck now. Let's start putting some shape on it. <clears throat> That's oh. where you do the wood turning equivalent of twerking. <laughs> Whack back. Alright. It's Thursday night. What? It's ten past eight and it's quack attack. <laughs> yeah. Quack attack. Quack attack. <laughs> Seriously though, Scott, you you uh, you do the body, and I'll send you the bill. Um, <laughs> boom, boom. Very well played, sir. Very well played. I see what you did. Still not round. There's still a flat on here. It's like a little bit more off. Bedroom yeah. or three. Much better. That's better. That's nice. Once Pegida's in, he says, Good evening. 
Scott and all the other ones and all those in the chat. Evening. Evening. Steve is saying, hi, Scott, Dale, Wayne, and Shug. He said, How you doing, Steve? Really All right, mate? Shug. Really pronounced Shug. Drawry, uh, Drawry's wood turn is in. Evening, Drawry. Evening. Evening. Dancing and shavings, look at that. Are you going to twerk? <laughs> <clears throat> In a nod to a night at Brighton. What do you think Colin says? Turned a log this afternoon for Steve's top hat challenge. Turned out to be a lively chunk of laburnum. So ain't getting coloured. Lol. Dope. Nice. Nice. Fair play. What do you mean by a lively chunk? Was it filled with creatures? Was it still attached to the tree? Or was it jumping about? Was it actually a person called Laburnum? <laughs> and they were quite vexed about the fact you were trying to use a gouge on them. Didn't they used to have a show in the 70s and 80s? Laburnum and Shirley. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get me cout. <laughs> the question is, was it Laverne or was it Shirley? Mm -hmm. Shirley, you know that one. Oh, no. I mean, it's probably Shirley. <laughs> So I'm just getting rid of some of the excess timber. <laughs> Seems criminal to see cherry go like this. Get one, of, get one of those jags from the NHS to, to help you lose weight. Now you're getting rid of, the, <laughs> rid of the excess timber. <laughs> <laughs> I might give one of them a go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You mean like that? Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be loads of tidying up to do later. Ah, you'll love it. You're quite excited about that. Yeah, your OCD will be kicking in all over that, Scott. Oh, no, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so the tonight's tipple is the Warrow Grove, Marlborough, New Zealand, Savignon Blanc, 2017. Nice. Ooh. Yes, there's no vintage on mine. It's just some of Captain Morgan's. Captain finest. Morgan's. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't tell me what year it is. He just tells me it'll be damn good. Drink like the captain. Gerard the French Turner says he's never drunk a foreign wine. <clears throat> Being as he's uh, currently living in Ireland, as far as I'm aware, I had no idea how many Irish wines there are, but I hope they're jolly good. <laughs> I didn't think Guinness was a wine. Ah, could be, could be, and it could be a cocktail if you uh, pop a little umbrella and a cherry in it. Right. Karen Mann's joined Fury's the chat. Wood turn is asking, 
Groovy's Wood Turners asking what angle you got on the rough and go, Scott. Uh, I believe they're all 45s. Uh, uh, Keith Jarvis yes. and Douglas Mungham have joined the chat as well. Evening, Hiya, Douglas. Keith. Um, Douglas, Keith. It's whatever it come with, and I've just, I've kept it. It works. <coughs> oh, Douglas, yes, I have tried Woods Navy rum. Indeed, I've tried quite a few rums, but the Captain Morgan Spiced is the weapon of choice at the moment because... It's um, it's affordable, <laughs> and it's rather nice. AGK says Guinness is a meal, not a wine. <laughs> that body's still too big. Oh, nice one, Gerard. That's the way to do it. 100 case, 120 cases at a time. Well done. What, wine? Yeah. Okay. That's probably for the restaurant. And if you're driving through the Midlands on your way home, if you want to drop us a bottle off. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, where's he been? France on the booze cruise. Well, Brian's in. Evening, Brian. Hiya, Evening, Brian. Brian. Yeah, he says... Excellent uh, live at uh, lunchtime, Brian. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, he says he goes to France every year to make a reserve, mate. So, fair play to him. And Peter Corcoran's in as well. Evening, Peter. Hello, Pete. So I'm just trying to get the rough shape in, and then we'll... Uh, we we'll start. In all honesty, the blank was probably a bit big for what I wanted, but let's do a big duck. I do a big duck. If you didn't, if you'd have done a longer neck, you could have done a big goose. <laughs> do an Orville. <laughs> I wish I could fly, but I can't. Oh yes, you can. You can. I can't! Hey. With, the, with the aid of this mini rocket, you can. With <laughs> <laughs> the aid of some Red Bull. Gives you wings. No, I don't. <laughs> Someone's just taking them to court for that, aren't they? And Robert Hodgepodge is in. Oh, you hard try, Harry. Hey, Hodgepodge. No, Wayne, it's not for the restaurant. Some for the staff and some for himself. Oh, nice. You can get a bargain like three dollars a uh, sorry three euros a bottle, which usually costs seven and eight dollars. Oh, a nice. I keep yeah. saying dollars, euros. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. It's a bit like asking, a skill, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, Hodgepodge just said, is this the first of ten bowling pins? <laughs> I don't think I've got the... Uh... Mind you, after today's meeting, I'm going to have to get used to some repetitive turning. Well, you got some meeting today. I am. Um, I had a random <laughs> knock on the door earlier on. Uh, guys found me on Google, and he's a furniture maker from the other side of town. And he wants some. Doorknobs done and uh, possibly talking about 
uh, getting some timber off him as well. He's off cuts and stuff. That's the way to do it. That's what I'll do. I've never even heard of him. He just... The door went earlier on. Well, I told you, if you remember, Scott, I told you the other week to look around for furniture makers. Yeah. I'd come and give you a hand, Scott, but I'm carrying enough timber of my own. And got rid of a load. Chris from Billy's Woodworks just come in. Hiya, Chris. Hey, up, buddy. Still not happy what's with the, the shape of that body. Name? All right, folks. What's the duck's name? What name will Scott be forced to uh, <laughs> to uh, give this duck? <coughs> will it be? <laughs> and you're stuck there, aren't you? Daffy <laughs> says Hodge. Jemima. Call it duck Jemima. If we're going to call it Jemima, I'm voting for Big Ted or Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Quackers, Quagmire. Hodgepog says Quagmire. Peter Cocker yeah. says Quackers. EGK says Quarkers. John Scarborough's gone with Ducky McDuckface. I was waiting for a Ducky McDuckface. I read a Daffy well, again from Tipsy. Ed King. says Wavy. Oh, Ed the Duck, yeah. Where oh, Wayne, Ed the that? Duck. What was that, Wayne? P. King. Oh, there we go. He's a oh. <laughs> <laughs> nosy duck, isn't he? Dinner, says Douglas. Yeah. Or Crispy. Donald, says Colin. Crispy. Crispy aromatic. <laughs> Oh, there you go then, Alarange. Uh, Hodge Podge Wood Woodworks has got me favourite so far. He says Ducky the Yellow Feather Tumbler. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. <laughs> I need to do that. Aka One Man's Hands and Crafts says Disco Duck. Dude. EGK says number sixty six. <laughs> <laughs> He is not a number. He is a menu <laughs> item. Uh, Tipsy's gone with duck class. Yes, yes, Martin. Yeah. That's what I was saving up for. Gerald, He's going Gerard to has name gone right it Bill. <laughs> Gerard, Gerard's gone in with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> with what? Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> young, young Shane Hurst has said Mighty Duck. Uh, Tipsy right. says Take. Uh, just li- Keith Jarvis <laughs> has gone with Convoy. Good one, Keith. I'm just, having, like that. just having a sweep because I am dancing in the shavings here. Just having oh, a sweep. What what, what's Sooty going to say about that? Hey, hey. <laughs> love the colouring in that bit of wood. Don't like me turning, but I love the colouring. <laughs> Tipsy says oh, tape duck or duct shape. tape. Yep, duct tape. Tipsy's gone with Howard. Huey, oh. Dewey, or Louie? Yes, there is that. Daffy's nephews. I was going to suggest and cover. I was going to suggest off, but. <laughs> So are you giving this one a D A haircut? A what? D A haircut. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit I'm a bit young for that, Wayne. All right. Uh, young Bailey Woodworks is asking question, question, question. What's the wood? It makes a difference to the name. Sherry.
Cherry Duck. Mm hmm. Sounds like a sounds like a porn star. It actually does, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Oh. Watch, watch Cherry Duck in this outing. <laughs> watch Cherry Duck does that it does Brighton. Yeah. <laughs> oh B A. Cherry Duck will do her own stunts. <laughs> They like it's only saying, I was hoping it wasn't you. <laughs> you do Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. you. Oh, very, very good, Billy. <laughs> Take a moment. <laughs> Scrooge says, Shane. Count nuclear. Oh, very good, Douglas. <laughs> or John Scarborough says, How about crispy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Patty. Where is Mask You? Let's use the little one. Skew you, duck you, yeah. and everyone that looks like you. Careful. Stay on target. Yeah, I don't want to take it too thin yet, because obviously we need to hollow the a beak. Carry me, man. <laughs> it's fine. That's me old skew. I've got a lump there. Yeah, so have I now. I'm going to go see the dog, Tommy. Fart, we scan. Made me have it. <laughs> AJK says, wait until he hits the sanding sealer. He will make that cherry pop. And Trevor oh, P. Oh, here we go. Now. Trevor P. Trevor Hobby P. Turner said, who, who gives her? <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Very well done, sir. Very well done. Grey Duck says <laughs> tipsy. Swap for the little little tall rest. Right now, right now, well. right now uh, uh, Bailey reckons mm. it looks a bit like a bowling pin. Yeah. They do a little bit, don't they? Don't know, do they? Go on and win. How do you pronounce that? What's that? Oh, you seen? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh. I see. Any, anyone seen the life of Brian? Brian. This is his oh. god. This is his god. We shall worship the god. <laughs> right. <clears throat> now I need to do light little cuts on the end here because that is. Fair own way from that chunk. What about? Could you, um, or is your bed not long enough? Could you uh, hollow that with a drill to start with? Well, if his bed's not long enough, you'll just need to sleep up in bed a bit or sleep diagonally, yeah. right? <laughs> Kick the dog out of bed. All he needs is a drill uh, with a handle on it. Just go Ooh, slow hat. speed and just pull it by hand. Where did I put... I'm, do you know, I made one on like that. Could you use a spindle gouge? What I could use? It's my baby tool. Could you use a spindle gouge? Yeah. That's what I've been turning most of it with. I think the only needs to drill it. with... Tell it, man. Oh, drill it with a spindle gouge. Yeah. Say some jet, some wood Jedi showed me that. Stay on target. <laughs> this is the point earlier on when my good lady wife walked him. When I'm concentrating, what, just as you was penetrating it, Scott. Did, I was going to say, well, he's, well, he's, well, he's, well, he's all tensed up and trying to, trying to, trying to drop one out. <laughs> I mean, right now, folks, what you can see is Scott's face resembles a shipping dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's concentrating so hard. <laughs> 
Uh, you've lost five subscribers for that remark, Scott. Sorry, man. That <laughs> takes me back under the thousand. Boom. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I really must sort my thousand subscriber giveaway out. I haven't done that yet. Yes, you're absolutely right. You should. Can we have um? Can we have twelve? Twelve. Uh, toasted white loaves, six bags of charcoal briquettes, and uh, foghorn leghorn fudge bag. <laughs> All right. No, I think I was. I thought it was a good suggestion. <laughs> right. I think we need to get in there with a bit of sandpaper. We'll give you loads of abuse about it later, Scott, and you'll do it just to shut us up. What, 12 loaves of bread? No, the subscriber giveaway. <laughs> I will, um, I will However, that does sound good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Peter Corker has got it right. Um, 20 bo boxes of Jaffa cakes. Yeah. I've done that. I've seen Scott that before. Yeah. Actually, was it? Was it 20? <laughs> Three, 300 Jaffa cakes, wasn't it? 30 boxes. Yeah. 30 boxes. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes. And then we'll get the saw out in a minute. You know, the way you're sanding that looks like you're ducking it. <laughs> right. No. Gerard says, is a well duck or a farmhouse one? Ben Jamin says, Are you there, Dale? Yes, sir. All right. All I had was Ben Jamin says, and then it went quiet. And 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 then someone someone who pays the wages messaged me, so I answered them before I said anything else. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gerard's got a, 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 um, a question for you, Scott. He says, "Question, question: Is it a wild duck or a farmhouse one?" I may have asked that. Oh, sorry. well, I think wild duck tastes better, doesn't it? Especially when you shoot it yourself. Not if you shoot it with a water pistol. <laughs> with duck soup. <laughs> oh no. Gerard also says I found something better than Jaffa, but tastes like Jaffa. Donuts. A donut shaped Jaffa cake. It's they are disgusting. <laughs> they should never have been invented. <laughs> I hate it when Scott sits on a fence. <laughs> they are disgusting. However, if someone sends Scott some, I bet you he eat. I oh, bet I would. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Let's try it. <laughs> so I brought a pack of four, ate one or half of one, and then took the rest in and gave them to my boy. Scott. <laughs> Yes, you mate. know how this is made from cherry, right? Sorry? You know how this is this is made from cherry, right? Yes. You know, and you know, everything you turn, you know, sooner or later resembles a well, a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lost your cherry flavour butt plug. I mean, this one could be used for, I mean, just to disprove the fact that everything you make looks like a bubble. <laughs> uh, you've gone down to 15 viewers now, Scott, after that one. <laughs> That's all right. It is what it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I'm all kidding. You're up to 33. <coughs> Gorgeous. Beautiful human beings and 30, 32 thumbs ups. 
Um, Folks at the top of the chat, you'll find a link to Scott's buy him a coffee. Scott's one of these human beings who actually runs on coffee. Yeah. Um, so please, please buy the man a coffee for, for all the hard work, energy, and effort he puts into these and for having to travel all the way to Scotland to get this piece of cherry for tonight's show. Out in the chat, young Douglas Mungham says, Cherry O, baby. Cherry O, Cherry O, baby. <laughs> You've been talking, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, Wendy, will you ask Scott? It's because the drill was flying straight in there. We got a succulent Chinese male earlier on. <laughs> All right. Let's do a bit by hand, shall we? 120. Turn the destructor fan on my help. How are we doing on time? You're okay, mate. It's uh, 36 minutes past the hour. I should have done one of the other percent I want to do. It would have been quicker. Just got, shed, just got a message from just got a message from Jimmy saying he's he's putting the putting the premiere out tonight at quarter past nine. Oh, cool. Hello, hello. If you, if someone can get the link, they can pop it in the chat. So we can all head over to Jamie afterwards. It's a couple of minutes. Hodgepodge Woodward oh. says, I hope Scott do doesn't plan on choking his duck later on. Oh! oh. <laughs> duck it, that was close. <laughs> duck it. 305. What? 315C. Temperature to cook it out. There we are. There's the link for Jamie's premiere. Oh, I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to clear the extract up. It's got a bit. Copper Woodton says, luckily, it's not a chicken. <laughs> One day I'll swap this to four inch all the way through. Are those man inches or really? It blocks up on the back here because um, it's a four inch, should, but then right said, on the man, same your divan. I've got all, I've got all that flexible stuff sitting in the box. Miles right on, the... right on the corner. I then reduce it down to sixty three mil. It just doesn't work. JP says, hey, didn't realise you were live tonight, Scott. My invite must have got thrown to the bottom of the ditch by Martin. Lol. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <coughs> That's right. I didn't sort earworms out till six o'clock. Oh, my invite came in five to seven, but hey, that's all right. <laughs> I was to say, it went. not It's been one of those days. I said, no, duck off. <laughs> Got to duck and run. Uh, okay. Here's Michael break. Let's attack it with a sword. Uh oh. Steady. Steady. Steady, you don't get a 14 day cooling off period with this. Or oh. let's get the 
Dremel. I'm going to say, out comes a Dremel. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the things. I've seen them with my eyes. Anything it is. Drury's Woodton says, do you know if Novichok's work on an Axminster lathe 305? I want the jaws that hold work up to 208 millimeters and Axminster don't do it that size. Uh, that would be a question for young Wayne. That would be an ecumenical matter. Hang on. Ecumenical I want matter. the jaws that hold work up to 280 mil. And Axminster don't do that size. I think they do. Don't their big ones do that? Well, apart from anything else, I use the sea jaws on anything up to 400 mil. And the sea jaws are 70 mil across. No, Jamie. Jamie, not once have I said that this looks like a suppository. However, Dale has mentioned that most of the things that um, our, our friend Scott turns look like butt plugs. He has mentioned it. <laughs> I, didn't do that. Right. I feel I was, I'm vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> And Roy's the boys just come in. Hi, Roy. Hey, Roy. How are hey, you doing, Roy. Man? Uh, Dave Ote has said, as long as the chuck is an inch by eight TPI, then yes. There's a little bit of information there. Or you can get a, an adapter, oh, obviously, to go to an inch eight TPI. Or you could get an Easywood tool, Easywood tools chuck and get an adapter. <laughs> JP said, hashtag, it's a Brighton thing. He's not wrong. <laughs> Technically, it's a Caterham thing or a Whiteleaf thing. <laughs> it's where Ann Summers is. Has indeed. A friend, of mine, a friend of mine became the head of IT there. He says he was looking at a board once where they were working out what products. You know, part, there was a, It was a team meeting whether she makes suggestions as to you know great ideas for the product or statewide they thought the job was important and what they wanted to achieve in the job one particular lady put on a case of, i want to make our customers wetter <laughs> <laughs> which is not wrong i mean we're not i mean this is the made up stuff i mean made up stuff is always more entertaining that's a <laughs> true, true thing <laughs> You're down to 900 subscribers now, Scott. Dash it up now. <laughs> Stop ducking about and get that beak sorted out, boy. I'm trying. Cold jaws or button jaws, Rory. Yeah, Ben's got it right there. Although, although I don't, I don't know why I'm taking sides with Ben here. Because uh, did you see what he wrote earlier on? He said, "Jamie, he's trying to up the standards with his earworms," but I guess that will be starting <laughs> in the next life. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I shouldn't though. feel offended, but he's absolutely right. <laughs> very, very drunk. <laughs> I say I demolished that entire bottle of Savignon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you work hard there, why not? If you work hard, you've got to play hard. I wonder if I have another one. On the road. Here's a question then. Should I get another one or should I just go for a nice cup of tea? No, I think you should get another bottle. I think so too. Sets her meeting with her friends later. 400 jaws won't work on the 305, says Dave Oatley. AGK Woodward says that we've gone down to three viewers and he's one of them. Oh, <laughs> God, no. uh, Remember, folks, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen Scott before, please, please hit that subscribe button and give that notification bell a bit of a ring the top of the chat, you will find a link to Scott's Buy Me A Coffee. Well, you're not actually buying me a coffee, you're buying him a coffee to say thank mm -hmm. you for all the hard work, effort and energy he puts into these lives and has to put up with us forcing our way into his life and saying, if you don't bring us in as earworms, we'll tell everyone your secret. <laughs> What's my secret? He said we weren't supposed to tell anyone. It's not a secret then. 
Tipsy Turner says we're just uh, we're just waiting for you to do the one uh, k uh, subscriber giveaway. Then we're uh, we we can all unsubscribe and then resubscribe again, so you can do another one k giveaway. <laughs> I will sort the one k giveaway out for next week. <laughs> well, and the, and the giveaway for next week, folks, is twelve white toasted loaves, six bags of the finest charcoal briquettes, and a fridge magnet. Form of fog fe- on leg on. <laughs> also, oh, a cuddly uh, toy. His and hers yeah. dressing gowns. He's made. Oh, we're on the generation gang made. now. Bit of a tease yes. made. Got of a tease that's, made. That's what it sounded like when Dale started with that list. I thought, oh, you know, entirely the entirely the it was entirely the thing I was going for, man. You you know, wicked. All we need now is a speedboat. No, that's. <laughs> Hang on, yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang oh. on. And Ducky's, and Ducky's <laughs> special prize for tonight. Yeah, it's a speedboat that no one's won for the last six weeks. <laughs> How many other oh people God. have got a bully in their workshop? I think I, I think I did. I think I might still have the bully's, bully terminal sticker. Mm. Somewhere. I picked that up uh, from a patient. Uh, <laughs> and bully star prize. It's a speedboat, which is great because you live in Warsaw. <laughs> you live in Coventry. <laughs> yeah, I went to a patient that had a box of them. I was like, okay. <laughs> Jim Bowen gave him his hush money. <laughs> if he says, if that were a du- if, if it, that. Start again. If that were well, would it come from his ass quack? <laughs> All right. All right you don't. Let's get some finish on here. <laughs> Ashley's not in tonight, is she? No. Cherry That's right, then. It's a cherry quack. <laughs> and Scott will be applying, you know, in Terry's finest wood Viagra. <laughs> That really oh. made it pop. Evening, Chris. Guess who's in? Chris Schwing. Hello, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> That's really bald out right now. Look at that. So, we're going to do it for Yorkshire. Do it for Yorkshire. Yeah, it might sound as good as Sean Bean. Yorkshire grit. Not as pretty as him either. That's debatable. You need to put that to the test next time you're down at Brighton. <laughs> Take a vote on it. <laughs> AGK said, that's popping the cherry. Who uh, misses? Who <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh. JP said you could have given it some Bernie Bernie and made it into a fire quacker. <laughs> fire quacker. Fucking <laughs> fire quacker. Well oh, done, mate. Well done. He's the pond addicted. <laughs> He's the bread addicted. Pond infatuated. <laughs> He's, a... He's, He's a fire, fire quacker. quacker. Twisted fire quacker. <laughs> Uh, ben Jamin said, I hear sure Sean Bean is now working for Record Power. Won't be for long, though, Ben. He always dies before the end. <laughs> what, like in shop? Like in everything. <laughs> Never makes it to the end of a movie, ever. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. He didn't die in National Treasure. Did he not? Nope. He wasn't in it then, was he? Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> What's your mic, Scott? Mark. Yeah. I'm, Some I'm heavy breathing. You're getting really excited now. You're popping your cherry. Hippy poppy. <laughs> cherry wary. <laughs> Drury said, 
these duck jokes need to weak quiet. <laughs> oh, well done, that man. <laughs> The bravest animal in the land is Captain Beaky and his band. <laughs> With Timmy Toad a... and Reckless Rat, Artful Owl and Batty Bat. There's got to be some mileage in us rewarding that. What are you on? Yeah. Uh, I told you earlier on, just some <laughs> Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about there. What? Well, a clean bit of cloth. Get out of town. You've never heard that? No. Oh my word! What was it Scott, called? Oh, Shark, I forgot the name. Um, I even remember the actor that's, that used to sing it. I, it, the name escapes me now. You boys have all got a few years on me. That's no excuse. What, you, what you're talking about there is experience. It's not years. I've successfully, I've successfully been around the local star more times than you. No, uh, it's a success story, is how I look at it. All right. Do you know what? I'm uh, lacking my brain now. I've got another, I'm in fact, I've got another. In fact, I, I can see the check. I can see the, the the checkpoint for another lap in June. I've had my checkpoint this year. Wait, what's that though? Captain Beaky and his Captain band. Beaky. It, was. Tommy's it was. It was. It was right. Captain Beaky, yeah. Thanks, Tommy. A bit of micro crystalline. Daddy, Daddy, there's a man to do with the bill. Don't be silly, son. There'll be a duck rat on. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally, you've managed to get the eye, what well, looks like potentially the eye, in the grain. Look, in like yeah, look. Beep, look. You know. I didn't look you're at gonna, that, did I? You're going to like this, Dale. I've just had a look. Captain Beaky, Keith, uh, Keith Mitchell. Uh, Harry and Terry's just come in. Evening, Terry. Hiya, Terry. Evening, Terry. Uh, Harold the Frog, Harry Seacombe. So and there we Jacques, go. A penniless French mouse, Peter Sellers, Nathaniel Nat Twiggy. Oh, wicked. Mm, just, just, don't wait, wait, wait. Leave, let, shut, shut up. Let me just think of it, Twiggy. <laughs> Did someone, someone mention my Twiggy name? For a moment. No, Terry, we just mentioned microcrystalline. <laughs> but but before that, we did use some of Ashley's favourite uh, wood Viagra. Wood, wood? Chestnut wood Viagra. Chestnut sand in Sealer. Just on the beak. Obviously, where I've cut it, you just need to be really careful if you're popping your fingers in. Or just scrunch up the cough. Duck needs a name, Terry. What do you think? Okay. Let's start to bring him to life then. So, what I'm going to use for some eyes is. Gonna have a, a play with size. Which ones do I want to use? Large, extra large, in fact. XXXL is what you need. Yeah, 4XL. Because Australians wouldn't give a 4X for any other. We use the bigger ones. You ever tried for? Have you ever tried 4X? Yeah, it's not bad. I wouldn't uh, drink it through choice. It just so these are just. It was there. <laughs> upholstery pins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. You got any um, young Copper Arrow suggesting the name for the duck should be Sucky Ducky. Sucky Ducky. <laughs> and then this is just a brattle. I'm just dollar. Gonna work out where I want the owls.
So I start the hole off with the Braddock. How about Charles Dukins? Love it. <laughs> Let's put some no. life into this duck by stabbing it with a metal spike, said Hodgepodge. Yeah. <laughs> and then hammering its eye. You know what you need, uh, just... Scott? You need to make a little pool with a hole, a little bit of a little bit of plywood with a with a with a V at the end of it. Yeah. Or a center study. No, I'll do that with plywood, it's much more fun. Adam, I love wood turning is in. Oh yeah, Adam. Hey up, Adam. Karen Mann says going to Cosmo to celebrate the fiftieth lap around the local star. Can't wait until May. Well done. Nice. That makes you younger than me. There we go. I slightly hate you, Karen. <laughs> right. Let's cut it off, and then we can give him cut the duck's head off. What the hell? We can give him some blue Peter legs. Oh my lord! Oh, let's go for the bigger skew. I've got one over here already prepared. Well done, John. My master father. Put Broke the old ground and breaking the wind with his <laughs> devil jointed ass. Now, if you are going to use the point of a skew like this, just be extra careful. Skew, skew, bit of gouge too. Sand it, grit it, done. <laughs> and make sure you've got a good, firm grip. Benjamin says he's working on the duck head. You know, Hodgepodge says duck might take flight soon. Mm -hmm. Well, if it was Mr. Walt, not. Mr. Walt that was turning it, you know what I mean? There may be maybe some potential to put that bet on, but in Scott's case, I think we're more likely to enjoy some swearing. Scott's just going to take it nice and gently. Swearing McNutt face. You know, that space, place. that space there is tighter than a duck's house. <laughs> and that's watertight. You have 45 souls watching you, young Scott. 36 of which think you're doing well. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Folks, if you're that's... new to the channel what? and you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe. And you could always share this this video out on your various socials to give Scott a helping hand towards his next thousand subscribers. At the top of the chat, you'll find a link to his buy me a coffee, which in his case is really buying him a coffee, not buying me a coffee. And Scott runs on coffee, so you'd be doing him a favor and saying thank you for all the hard work and effort and energy he puts into his <coughs> lives. Out in the chat, AGK Woodward says, didn't you just stab yourself, Scott? No. Nope. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm seeing the shaking. Oh, well, shaking Brian, you know, I'm I'm in on my I need to get a smaller skew. It's a good I job I love skews. Hey, Brian. Right, Terry says, Terry's off. Right. He's going to get his dinner. See you later, Terry. Cheers for the play, name. Terry. Enjoy. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll sand the bottom off. Oh, look, look at Scott's the grabbing the neck of his duck. <laughs> giving it a neck. Is he choking his ducky? I don't think that's quite the same. <laughs> James says he's going to duck out now as he needs to crack on the, the housework. Have a oh. Good, have a good evening. <laughs> oh, well done, Ben. Well done. Cheers, Ben. Thanks for Warm coming in. Yeah, I wonder if Terry's having duck for dinner. <laughs> duck a la orange. <laughs> right. For those who've just joined, Scott is currently clutching a duck and sanding its ass on a... <laughs> sanding its ass on his lathe. Yeah, this is when he's trying to give it a DA haircut. Well, hey... <laughs> 
any minute now, he will employ some bleach <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to have to sharp. He's necking the right book, <laughs> that's a lot of me. Oh. <laughs> you boy. What's if he put some Kinda wood Viagra on it? Uh, Joey said, sorry, I had to duck out and do work. How dare these people demand that of me? Exactly, Joey. You know what to do next time. Tell them to duck off. <laughs> EGK Woodwork says, well, Scott's made a duck's ass of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <coughs> so after the live, I'll um, I'll do it with by hand and get a better finish on it. But, but we that's what do. she said. A bang. Who <laughs> misses? A bang. It's Blue Peter Fresh, earlier on. Fresh swing. It said hi, David, Joy, Dale, Wayne, Shark. Hello, Chris. <laughs> Blue Peter earlier on. Really Hello, kindly. Chris. Maybe Whee! some duck's legs. Look at him. Look at that. Scroll <laughs> saw's awesome. Uh, the scroll saw sorts everything out. Good job you had them prepped, Scott, because it's uh, one minute past the hour, mate. Yep. Time sponsored by Duckurus. <laughs> <laughs> Copper I would tell you, finally done working today on my way home. Bye, everyone. Looks great, Scott. Cheers, mate. Catch you later, Rob. Then goes on to say, then goes on to say, we'll stop ducking about and get it finished. <laughs> Actually, didn't see that. <laughs> we thought it, though. <laughs> everyone loves Magical Trevor. Those, ducks Those legs are quite long. Yeah, they'll go in, mate. Them, uh, disappearing a cow. Then Rat quack go. says go, and off he disappears into the sunset. <laughs> Quackity quack, don't look back. Boom. <laughs> Where's the Mergum? Because these are tight. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, but a tight fitting means you don't need glue. Where's the wings, man? Where's the wings? Where's the wings? We ain't got time for wings. Red Bull. Look, <laughs> in. Use some lube when penetrating that duck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, <laughs> not very often you see a foot get stuck in a duck. It's Scott, Scott, and I apologise for the language. It's a fucking kiwi. It's not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's bring the boys back. You can force it in. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to paint the beak. My wife said to me earlier, the do the the paint make the kiwi do the hacker. Come on, make the kiwi do the hacker. Hang on, you need, two, you need more than that to do the hacker, didn't you? <laughs> How many ducks can we get in to do the hacker? Hang on, Dale Duck. Hey, <laughs> there we go. A little simple project. It's probably taking a little bit longer than what it should have done, but I'll sand the uh, I'll sand the bottom by hand. <laughs> put some <laughs> put some finish on that, and then I'll uh, I'll get some pictures up on social media. Um, <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> concentrate. Um, there will be another video from me out Sunday um, <laughs> at ten o'clock. I don't know what it'll be yet because I haven't filmed it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but Jamie, I'm going to finish now because Jamie has got premiere at quarter past nine. 
So make sure you head over. Check out Jamie at JP Woodworks. Jamie's Hopefully. music is awesome. Remember that. When you go in, you need to compliment him on his music. Why? <laughs> now, Wayne's is better. Why right, not? Let's, do it about it. let's lull him into a cell of false security. <laughs> Good music. Go check it out. Top quality. Thank you, so. everyone, for uh, coming in. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I'll drop Jamie's link in, so if you want to head over there, feel free. Brilliant. Sure right. Until next week, I shall see you all later.